Hi, today we're going to discuss and practice a simple change in focus that can take your law of attraction and manifestation up to a whole new level. And this is the difference between thinking something and being something. And that small change in proper focus can make all the difference in the world. Because the universe is always reacting to what we are being in the present moment. It's not reacting to what we're thinking about what we're hoping for, what we're dreaming about. It's reacting to what we are being in the present moment. And what a lot of people don't realize is that 80 to 90% of our waking time, we are usually free to be whatever we choose to be on the inside, regardless of what's going on around us, regardless of what our outer circumstances is in. 80 to 90% of the time, we can choose to be whatever we want to be. And about 2% of the people out there are not only aware of this, but they are aware of what they are being in the present moment, and they are deliberately choosing to be what they wish to be in the present moment. About 2% of the population. The other 98% of the population is kind of living on default. They're being what they have always been, or they're being what they think they're expected to be or they have to be based on other people's expectations or things that have happened in the past. And the awareness of this, the control of this, is the difference between all of your manifestations happening and happening faster or them not happening at all. So what do I mean exactly by the difference between thinking something and being it? Well, we're going to go through a quick exercise that will enable you to experience this for yourself. And what this exercise will highlight for you is not only thinking something and being something, two different things, but being something and your emotional state or how you are feeling are two different things as well. Because what you are being is not dependent on your mood, whether you're happy or sad or joyous or frustrated. Because you can be something and feel all of that full range of emotions at the same time. For this exercise, we're going to focus on being someone who is financially abundant. And as you'll see, you can be someone who's financially abundant and be happy, inspired, sad, depressed, angry, frustrated. And what you should learn through this exercise is when you are manifesting, focusing on what you are being in the present moment is the most important thing. It's way more important than what you're thinking and it's way more important than the emotions you are feeling. There's a lot more to manifesting the changes you want in your world than just feeling good all the time. So hopefully you're somewhere that you won't be disturbed for a few minutes, somewhere you can close your eyes, you can't be driving. We're going to go through a quick exercise. It's just going to take a few minutes to illustrate this to you. So I'm assuming you're somewhere comfortable. Please close your eyes, follow along. We're just going to take a few deep breaths, preferably from the belly, and go through a quick exercise. So three deep breaths from the belly. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. One more time, breathe in and out. Good, so we're going to focus on being someone who is extremely financially abundant. All the money you want in your life, abundance flowing through your life, and you can think about that and you can visualize situations. You can think about all the things you want to do, all the things you are doing, all the things you're buying, all the things that you're experiencing, the freedom that you have, the trips that you go on, maybe the clothes you wear, the things you buy. And as you think about those and visualize those, you probably got a smile on your face and you're probably feeling some positive emotions, feeling good about things. Maybe some of you are feeling doubt, anxiety. That's okay too. Whatever you are feeling is good and normal and natural. And as we think about them, as we visualize them, keep seeing the situations. Being totally financially free, maybe having staff working for you, maybe the mansions, maybe the little house by the ocean, wherever it is you'd like to live, the trips you go on, the people you'd help, all the things on your bucket list that you wanted to do that you can now experience, 
only doing what you want to do, not doing anything you don't want to do, and you can easily get those visualizations and feel some good positive emotion. And most likely you feel some emotion, but most of the thoughts and feelings are in your head, located in between your ears, and you may have some strong positive emotions in your body. Now I want you to bring that feeling, that essence, into your body right now. Feel yourself sitting actually in the space you're sitting in. Feel and be aware of your actual body. And realize that right here, right now, you can literally be whatever you choose to be. You can feel like the person you want to be on the inside. You can be who you want to be. And as you think about everything you have, everything you own, everything you're experiencing, I want you to feel your body in the room you're in right now and realize right here, right now, literally, you can be the person who is extremely financially abundant, not in some imaginary place in your head, but right here, right now in this room. Pick anyone you know who is extremely financially abundant. They could be sitting in this room, right here, right now, with you. The room is not preventing them from being financially abundant. They are financially abundant no matter where they go. And you can sit right here, right now, being an extremely financially abundant person. I want you to feel that energy flowing through your body. Feel that energy flowing through the space around you. Feel what it's like to sit here as a financially abundant person in this room. Nobody's watching. Nobody's judging. There's no expectations. I want you to feel it in your heart. I want you to feel it in your belly. I want you to feel it spread out through your entire body. How do you sit as a financially abundant person? How do you feel on the inside? as a financially abundant person, in your legs, in your arms, in your neck, in your chest, in your belly. Be a financially independent person, sitting right here, right now. Feel the difference between being that person and just thinking about being that person. They are two different things. You can think about be that, being that person, and you can actually feel being that person right here, right now. And sitting here as that financially abundant person, feeling it all through your body. What do you feel like now? What energy do you feel in your body? What confidence do you have? How much less stress do you have? How much more secure do you feel? How much more power do you feel flowing through your body? How much more control do you feel flowing through your body? Good. Now sitting here as a financially abundant person, realize that there are still stressors in your life. This is real. This is reality. This is not fantasy. This is what you are being. As a financially abundant person, even though you have all this money, even though you have all this control, there are still things that frustrate you. Whether it's traffic, whether it's people at the store, whether it's situations in your life not happening quite fast enough, whether it's the hurricane delaying your trip, there are still things that frustrate you. But even though you're frustrated and your emotions are feeling frustrated, you are still a financially abundant person regardless of your emotions. Realize that sitting here as a financially abundant person, there are things that make you angry. Maybe you make mistakes yourself. Maybe other people make mistakes. Things don't always go your way and turn out the way you want them to be. There are things out in the world, politics, in your country, in your life, that still make you angry. And even though you feel that emotion of anger, you are still a financially abundant person. As a financially abundant person sitting right here, right now, there are some things that may still give you fear. After a scary movie, 
getting in almost a traffic accident, caring for your loved ones, the people you care about most, something could be happening to them potentially, maybe out in your country, maybe out in your neighborhood. You can still feel fear and be a financially abundant person. As a financially abundant person sitting here right now, there are many experiences that give you joy and excitement and laughter. And you thoroughly enjoy your life and experience and share all these good things and all these wonderful emotions. And even though you're feeling the joy, the inspiration, the laughter, those are just emotions. Those are the clouds in the skies. You are still being a financially abundant person. And as we have gone through this range of emotions, as we have felt anger, frustration, sadness, joy, abundance, through all those emotions, there was something that stayed the same. There was something central to all of those that did not change even as the emotions changed. And that core, that essence is you being a financially abundant person. Being a financially abundant person regardless of the emotions you're feeling. Being a financially abundant person regardless of the situation or circumstance you find yourself in. Being a financially abundant person regardless of what other people think, regardless of what other people say, Regardless of what's happening in the world around you, you still have that core, that essence of actually being a financially abundant person. You could lose all your money and still be a financially abundant person and you would quickly rebuild your fortune and your legacy. And you can be a financially abundant person even if the universe hasn't caught up to that yet. The more you maintain this essence of being a financially abundant person throughout your day, throughout your week, the faster and faster the universe will catch up to you. The faster and faster your circumstances will catch up to you. And being a financially abundant person you can think about being something else. As you feel that essence in your body of being a financially abundant person, you can think about being a poor person. You can think about having no home, no job, no money, no income. But even though you're thinking those things, they are just thoughts. They do not affect your core, what you are being, what you are, which is a financially abundant person. Now breathe in and out and open your eyes. If you followed along with that exercise, you should now understand the difference between thinking something, feeling a certain emotion, and being something. And the most important thing to be aware of and control when you're manifesting changes in your life is what you are being in the present moment. If you would like more help and support so you can manifest the changes you really do want in your life, then look us up online. Our website is theactivepath.com, and you can also join our Facebook group, The Power Manifesting Inner Circle. I really hope to see you there really soon. And to continue your journey right now, please watch these videos. They will open your mind to a whole new world of manifesting and law of attraction, power, and ability so you can change your life and change the world. I'm Tom Riley. Until next time, remain at choice.